Hi, this is Jeff Hicks, and today I want to show you some ways to use uh, tools in Windows 7 to look at event logs. The first thing I want to show you is the graphical event log viewer that ships with Windows 7. Now there are a couple ways you can get this. You could go to Start, Administrative Tools, Event Viewer to launch it. Uh, I happen to like being quick and lazy, and I open up Start, Run, and type Event VWR, click OK and up will pop the event viewer. You'll get the same event viewer no matter which choice you make. Now one thing you'll notice right away in the new Windows 7 event viewer is I like this summary of administrative events. I can look on my local machine and see what kind of warnings I've had. You know, see I've had 11 here for the last seven days and then I can see what some of them are. If I can double click it and it brings me then to a summary so these are all the Windows update errors that I've had on my system in the last 11 days. Sorry, 11 errors in the last 7 days. The event viewer shows me not only the classic event logs such as application system security, but also all the new event logs that ship from Microsoft for lots of other Windows related applications. For example, if I want to look at errors related say to the DHCP client, I can look at DHCP events related to that. Now I can filter, say, you know, all I care about are just the uh, warnings and errors. I'm not interested in any of the events. So for pretty much any of these event logs, I can come over here to filter event log. And let's say, you know what, I just want the ones in the last 30 days. I want errors, warnings. I don't care about the event source. I've already limited it to the DHCP log and I'm just going to click OK. And I have no errors for that regard. So let me change my filter and let's just do uh, for many time. Errors and warnings. There we go. So there are all the errors and warnings that I have in that event log. I filtered out all of the other non errors and warnings. I can also connect to a remote computer. Come up here, collect, a, collect another computer, I'm going to connect to server 01, click OK. Same thing, I have access to all of the event logs. So now we're all these, these are all the logs on server 1. Again, I can filter. What's even nice is if I create a filter, I can save it as a custom view. For example, I want to look at all the SQL events. Now, because Server 1 happens to have SQL installed, I actually can see all of the errors and warnings related to all the SQL-related products on Server 01. Another way that we can look at event logs is with PowerShell. There are two command lists we can use. I can either use get event log to say show me on the system event log the newest 10 errors and there they are. Uh, there is also get win event which will also work with the older logs. Uh, the parameter sets are a little bit different. I'm just going to return the 10 most recent events. If you look at help for get event log, you'll see that there are some syntax options that I can use to filter. So I want to find, let me clear the screen, we'll go to get event log system entry type. I'm going to get error and warning and I'm just going to get the newest 10 and let's filter this further. Let's say I'm just interested in the source and the message. So I can see I have some errors coming from the time service, from uh, volume, from shadow copy, the vol snap source and DCOM. Uh, I can do similar things with the win event commandlet. Look at help here, help get win event dash examples. I can format, I can look at the information in many different ways, 
because I'm dealing with objects. Now to get information out of the win event uh, logs, you require a little more sophistication. You have to use some XML formatting or hash tables. So I can see down in an example right here, I can either query, in this case, the Windows PowerShell, and I can use either a hash table, or I can create an XML filter, or if I'm proficient with XML and want to do XPath, I can use that as well. So with Windows 7, I have a number of ways that I can mine all sorts of information from one or more remote computers, uh, either using the GUI or from PowerShell.